making sure that people are at least aware of the fact that they can sign up to an email list is going to help you grow that list. And these three tips that I've got for you will certainly help it stand out and at least show your visitor, your reader, your subscriber that they can sign up to your email list. Collecting emails and building a list is, as I've said on previous occasions, one of the best things you can do for your blog. It can help you in so many ways. But of course, setting up your email software and beginning the collection process is only one half of the battle. Getting people to actually sign up is the other half. Now there are the obvious things that we can see that everybody does, like putting an opt-in in your sidebar, maybe it's a call to action at the end of a blog post. And to be honest, I kind of felt like they'd been covered an awful lot. And these were ones that a lot of bloggers were aware of. So what I've done is I've had a little look and these are three tips that I can give you for collecting email addresses that are not so normal, that are not the usual, that hopefully will help you stand out and make people aware of the fact that they can get onto your list. So let's get into them. The first method of collecting email addresses is a great one if you're active on YouTube. If like us, you're pumping out YouTube content or even if it's only just one video every two weeks or once a month, whatever it might be, you can link up your website to your YouTube channel. So once you get your website approved as a, a verified link to your YouTube channel, you can add in a call to action within your video to link people to sign up to your email address. And it's really, really simple. In fact, so simple, I'm gonna link to a video just here where you can see how it's done. But the bones of it are this. There's a 20 second end screen window on your videos and you can add an annotation or end screens. And what we've done is we've created an end screen, much like this one here that you can see, where we give people an option to subscribe to our channel, sign up to our email list and view further videos. And it's really simple to create. So if you are pushing out content on YouTube, consider setting up a page on your website dedicated to solely collecting email addresses. And at that point, you can have a call to action to drive them to that link off the end of your YouTube video, which will at least make them aware of the fact that they can sign up to be on your list. It's a really cool one. It's one I don't see a lot, a lot of people doing. Most people will use their end screens just to show other videos, not necessarily a call to action to drive traffic to their site or indeed to their email list. So I do think it would help you stand out. The next piece of advice I can give you is about pop Pops. Now I know pop-ups are extremely annoying and a lot of people choose not to use them within their blog. However you feel about them, they do work. But I completely understand that you don't want to interrupt the user experience with an annoying pop-up that says sign up to my list. I get it. And if you don't want to do that, that's up to you. But there is a way of using pop-ups that doesn't interrupt the user experience. And one of those is an exit pop-up. So we can program it that when a user goes to exit our website, they get a pop-up at that point asking them to subscribe to our list. This doesn't interrupt their user journey. It doesn't interrupt the fact that they're reading our content because they're going to leave. It's less annoying and it still converts. In fact, Backlinko have said that since they deployed this, their opt-ins went from 35 to 75 a day. So it just goes to show you they're capturing more leads now since they employed this tactic and it's not interrupting the user experience. So I do think that perhaps you should look at incorporating a exit screen pop-up to at least again make people aware of the fact that they can get on to your list. Now when it comes to doing this, there's two ways. The first is Sumo Me. Sumo Me is a piece of software we use for a number of list building tools. There's so much in there from welcome mats to pop-ups to heat maps to Google Analytics reports. There's loads in there that it, I think it's actually worth paying for. Now there are some free bits of software that you can use, like a pop-up, just a plain pop-up that you can get for free for collecting email addresses. I do suggest checking out Sumo Me. Or if you don't want to go down that route, there is a free WordPress plugin. And the plugin is very cleverly called Exit Pop-Up. Uh, you can just search for that. It's a free WordPress plugin. Now I haven't used it, so I can't honestly say how good or bad or indifferent it is. I haven't used it, but it is free. It does seem to be very well rated. So I suppose check it out and see if that's something that works for you. The third tip I can give you is about click triggers. 
and these are great little things again a little bit like a pop-up but people expect them so when you've got a hyperlink or an image that people know to click when you click on something on a website you expect a reaction you expect something to happen when you click and click triggers are again another way of making people aware of the fact that they can get onto your email list so you can have a piece of hyperlink text an image whatever it might be that when they click on that it opens up a pop-up window that says hey sign up to my email list it's a super little way of again making people aware that they can sign up and again if they're taking action they've, they've already taken action on clicking on that link and now they see this pop up and they think oh well i clicked that and it gave me this i should do this and it's kind of a, an action thing they click it pops up they sign up it's done there's like a little process to it and people really love it and again for those of you worried about pop-ups this isn't one that just shows up as soon as you open every web page people actually have to click on something for it to appear so i do recommend that one for capturing email addresses if you don't want to have a pop-up like we do when you come straight onto the website again to do this sumo me does click triggers it's part of their premium package we've been paying for it for a long time and we do use it i highly recommend it but again if you don't want to pay for software at this point in time you can check out another wordpress plugin called pop-up cc click again it's a free WordPress plugin that does the click triggers for you. I haven't used it. I can't vouch for how good, bad, or indifferent it is. But if this is something that you think might benefit you, and I do think it will benefit most bloggers, well, then I would suggest you check it out. Given the fact that it's free, you haven't really got a whole lot to lose by employing it for a little while. If it doesn't work, you know what? Cancel it and get rid of it. But again, all we're trying to do is make people aware of the fact that they can sign up to our email list and that's half the battle once they know it's there it's up to us to provide such value that they feel it warrants giving us their email address that they want to get this information straight to their inbox so the onus is on us to produce the content that's going to make them say yeah i want to get this every day every week every month however often you send out your emails there's three unconventional ish ways of collecting email addresses that i don't see everyone doing a lot of the stuff has been done to death people become blind to opt-ins a bit like the way we have kind of google adword blindness we don't really see the adwords every so often this is just something a little bit different that stands out that will hopefully help you drive more people to your email opt-in so there you go try those three out see how you get on i'd love to hear in the comment section below has it had an effect on your list building efforts have you seen a rise in the number of subscribers to your list don't forget if you'd like to get more great tips and tricks like this one you can sign up for our free 30 minute blogger mini course which is delivered to your email address over six emails over 21 days so if it's something you're interested in and you want to get better at blogging drive more traffic and indeed save a bit of time leave your name and email address in the opt-in box below and we'll send that first email out to you straight away way.